My name is Jake Drysdale, and I'm investigating the halite composition and temperature-dependent properties of perovskite solar cells. Perovskites are a new class of highly efficient, low-cost, light-absorbing materials for use in solar cells that have chemical structure ABX3, shown here, where A is a cation, B is a metal, and X is a halide. Now, we can tune the halide composition of perovskite by mixing different halides together, such as iodide and bromide. And this changes the band gap value of our semiconductor perovskite, which changes the light absorption properties. So the band gap corresponds to the minimum energy required to excite an electron from perovskite's ground state, the valence band, to its excited state, the conduction band, where the electrons that are excited can then be collected uh, and run through a circuit to generate power. Now it is known that halide composition has an impact on perovskite band gap. It is also known that temperature has an unusually large impact on perovskite band gap. And we are investigating how halide composition influences this temperature-dependent change in perovskite band gap. And we also want to understand how this impacts the performance of perovskite solar cell devices. And so we are fabricating perovskite solar cells of various halide composition uh, and testing them under temperature conditions equivalent to uh, the operating range of a solar cell in the field. Now, uh, talking about band gap, we created these perovskite films uh, using a low temperature uh, spin coating technique. And then um, with these films, we took UV vis absorption spectra of them. Uh, and then we measured the absorbent spectra at different temperatures for each of these different compositions. And as you can see, as temperature increases, the absorbance uh, spectrum for each of the perovskite compositions shifts to the left. Uh, which corresponds to a widening of the perovskite band gap. Um, and so we understand that, and so now what we did is we measured the, uh, per the perovskite band gap energy values res relative to temperature, uh, and then we used something called the Barshney equation, which is essentially taking a linear fit of each of these data sets, and the slope of each of these linear fits corresponds to the rate uh, of change of the band gap energy with respect to temperature. And as we can see uh, from a bromide content of about 25% to 100%, the uh, band gap increases uh, more quickly with temperature uh, with more bromide content. And so now we understand this, but we want to understand, well, what impact does this have on the performance of our actual perovskite solar cells? So we fabricated uh, these perovskite solar cells using a low temperature technique where we spin coat the different layers of our perovskite solar cell, where perovskite is our light absorbing layer and the other layers help to uh, separate and collect the charges to run through a circuit and generate power. Um, so with our perovskite solar cells made, we now want to measure the current response of our perovskite solar cells um, at different wavelengths in the solar spectrum. And as you can see here, the uh, sharp drop in current response in each of these graphs uh, corresponds to the band gap, which we saw over here. Now, the shift in this decrease corresponds to the shift in band gap with composition. Now, as far as future directions, we want to understand how uh, perovskite solar cell, uh, how the different compositions for perovskite solar cells um, are impacted at different temperatures. And so we want to heat our solar cells up to different temperatures and measure their efficiency for these different compositions. And then finally, um, with these results, uh, if they are significantly different, we want to understand why. And we can do so by examining the excited state properties of these different perovskites using a technique called transient absorption spectroscopy.